From the shards of tattered dreams I rose, unwilling, tossed upon tides of pain that flowed and ebbed and left me searingly awake, and more revoltingly, alive. It was then I saw her for the first time. Good evening. We did not expect you to awaken so soon. Already you surprise us. My mind was in fragments like shattered glass. Where am I? I don't remember. Yes. It was said your memory would be affected by your long slumber. That will pass in time. I am Uma, and I am here to help you. Know that your name is Cain, and you were once a power in the land. I know my name, but my past I remember fragments only. That you awoke at all is a miracle. When we found you, there was but the barest thread of life left in you. We nurtured it, fed it, and now you rise and walk again. And what is this place? You are in the city of Meridian, capital of the land of Nalsgoth, the land you once sought to conquer and rule. Tell me, since you remember your name, do you also remember your nature? Of course. Then let me show you the future. You have been asleep for 200 years. In that time, this is what has become of Nazca. You were a great general, commanding an army of vampires. But the powers you opposed were too strong for you. You were struck down, your armies defeated, scattered, and destroyed. Everyone believed you to be dead. Who defeated me? The Seraphan, 
An army of fanatical humans sworn to eradicate all vampires from the world. A new leader brought them together, and wielding a new kind of magic, deadly to our kind, was able to destroy your army and kill most of the vampires. You were defeated in mortal combat by this leader, the Seraphan Lord. But that is not the end of the story. Under the guise of protecting the land from the vampire menace, the Seraphan seized control of all of Nazgoth, and their rule is not kind. For 200 years, the Seraphan have enslaved the humans under their iron rule, and hunted down and destroyed every vampire they could find. They have not succeeded, however. Not yet. And now, with your help, it is our hope to crush the Seraphan and restore order to the city. The natural order. Vampires preying upon humans. Naturally. You said our hope. Who are you? We are the Cabal, the Vampire Resistance. We work to undermine the Seraphan at every turn. But we are losing. With the new magic they employ, the Glyph magic, they are able to find us and kill us. Our numbers are dwindling. Without help, we will not survive. We need you, Cain. Of course you did not bring me back simply out of kindness. There must be a price. We need you to help the Resistance. Our faces are known. They kill us on sight. But you are ancient history, long since dead and buried. You can go where we cannot. That gives us a small advantage. How splendid for you. And why do you suppose I would do this? What is to be my reward? Your eternal gratitude. Have you changed so much? The Seraphan Law defeated you. Don't you want to kill him? When you have destroyed him, you can continue your ascent to power, restore your army, and rule the land at last. Does the lust for vengeance and power no longer stir you? Are you so dead? I seem to remember that I played the pawn once before. It ended badly. This time, you will prevail. We are simply your allies, not your betrayers. What we want from you is open and plain, with no hidden paths. If you succeed, so do we all. Are you asking me to trust you? We must trust one another. Together, we can defeat the Seraphan Lord. Once he is dead, his order will collapse. Mindless fools that they are. But there are dangers other than the Seraphan which must be overcome. I care not for any dangers. They will fear me, do you hear? Tell me where to find the Seraphan Lord. I'll have him buried within the hour. Such arrogance. If it were so easy, we would have done it ourselves, Cain. And you are far too weak to fight him yet. He is protected, too, by other vampires. Vampires in service to the Seraphan? Are they mad? They value their lives. While they serve the Seraphan Lord, he lets them live. I will enjoy destroying them. You would be lucky to survive one such encounter until you grow stronger. But should you prevail, then you will be able to absorb their veins and thus gain new abilities. To our kind, these are called the Dark Gifts. I look forward to meeting these traitors to our kind. My senses spun. My body ached. Weakness overcame me. You have the thirst upon you. Come, vampire. It is time for you to feed. Yes. Cain, do not be afraid. <gasps> what magic is this? I am using the Whisper, Cain, a natural ability of vampires. In this way, we can keep in contact even over great distances. Yes, 
I remember now. She had been in my thoughts. I almost believed I had called her myself. Never fear. I cannot read your thoughts, but only speak into your mind and hear you in return. Now, proceed down this street. I shall be waiting. and most decrepit part of the city, where few people dare to come. A perfect place to train you. Train me? You take me for a dog? Your memory has been shattered, and your body has lain dormant for 200 years. What skills you had must be recovered before you can be of any use to the Cabal. You must learn to fight and to survive. I thought you were taking me to feed. Patience, vampire. First, know that you are stronger and faster than mortal men, able to jump higher and farther than any human that ever lived. When your path is blocked, seek for a place to jump. Now, join me up here. Know that you also have the ability to float. When you are on a ledge such as this one, you may land silently and carefully by floating down. This will be important when I train you to kill. Now, follow me. She would discover I needed little training in how to kill. is a labyrinth. All the better for a hunting ground. Tell me, Cain, are you hungry? Yes. I have a prisoner waiting for you down below, a thug from a local gang of criminals. He sought to murder yet another helpless victim, but he met me instead. Spare me the moral anecdote and direct me to his throat. Drink then. I will be waiting below. is your life. Without it, you will die. If you are wounded, seek out blood to restore your vitality. You must know, too, that by drinking the blood of others, you will gradually become stronger and harder to kill. We call this a vampire's lore. 
The more creatures you drink from, the more lore you will gain, and the greater your health will become. Leave no enemy alive, Cain. You will need their blood and their lore to survive. Now, let us continue. superior to humans in many ways, we also have certain weaknesses that they do not possess. Though it is life-giving to humans, water is deadly to vampires. Its touch burns our skin. Immersion in water can kill us. Avoid it at all costs. Also know that scattered throughout Meridian are relics of our ancestors. Useless to humans, only vampires can access these coffers and use the power within. Seek these out on your journey. crusade to destroy all vampires, and for this they have developed special defenses. You see here a ward gate. What precisely does it do? Should you so much as touch it, you will be burned as by fire. The Seraphan have raised these wards throughout Meridian. We can go no farther this way. Follow me into the sewer. ability to survive will depend upon your ability to fight. It's time for you to learn how to kill. Your first line of defense is your agility. You can dodge around an opponent using your inhuman speed. You can also defend yourself by blocking attacks. I shall now strike at you. Do not be concerned. I shan't use my claws. Block my attacks, and we can proceed to the next lesson. We are all armed with a natural weapon, our claws. Use them to kill your enemies. You can practice by attacking me. If you see an enemy become tired, use this opportunity to grab him. Once grabbed, you can throw him a great distance. Excellent. 
Your lesson is over for the moment. Continue through the sewer, and I shall meet you again shortly. Here you are at last. Through this door lies your first true test. A gang of criminals are encamped ahead, and one of their number stands guard, unaware that his fate approaches. You must kill him, Cain. You have the skill to block and dodge his attacks. Bring him down using your claws. Once you have felled him, drink his blood to restore yourself from any wounds you may receive. I will be watching. supernatural abilities. Our curse develops differently in each of us, giving us unique powers. Much of your former power, Cain, has been weakened during your long hibernation. The mist you see here can be used to your advantage. You have the ability to assume a mist form and become nearly invisible. You can move silently to bring down your prey from behind. At times when you are outnumbered, Look for mist from which to kill your enemies silently. If you are pursued, you can hide in mist to escape. Now, use this gift to kill those before you in the cemetery. I will let you continue when the deed is done.
games, you're scaring me. What manner of sorcery is this? This is glyph energy, a new form of magic brought into the world with the rise of the Seraphan. It supplies power to all of Meridian. The gate you see can be opened using this energy. Activate the glyph box. This will bring power to the gate's lever and allow you to open it. are operated by the Glyph Rites, a secret society existing within Meridian. You may see them working on glyphs from time to time. They rarely talk with the townsfolk, and very little is known about their origins. Ahead is the market where the common dregs of Meridian engage in their filthy commerce. Beyond the market is the bridge that leads to the lower city. Make your way east to the bridge. I shall meet you there. And where are you going? I shall scout ahead to ensure that you don't meet any Seraphan patrols. You aren't ready for them yet. How trusting of you to leave me to my own devices. Consider it an act of goodwill. generous, I call it. You see that? Have you seen what it can do? It will bring light and heat and no cost for oil or coal.
What do we have here? Oh! Ooh, ooh. I am taking you to Sanctuary, the heart of the Cabal. It is time that you meet our leader. It was time indeed to hear this so-called leader's plans and learn what he thought his plans might be for me. Cain, this way. Vampire! Here, close the gate. You must find a way to reach the lower city. The smuggler's tunnel will take you there. Pestilent vampire, die! Go to the Grand Hotel in the slums. A contact will meet you there. He will tell you where to go. Stinking, verminous, blood-sucking fiend! Do you want your death now? Come, and you shall have it. Come back! I was alone at last. In a city changed beyond all recognition. In a land that was under a curse. Should I follow her, as she asked, or go my own way, find my own answers? But answers were promised me in sanctuary. After that, I would know what to do.
ждать. me alone.
I was told to meet someone here. Who's there? You must be Cain. You are a human. Curious that you would help one such as I. We hate the Zarathan, we humans. The things they do, it's not right, not natural. If your kind can bring them down, I'll help you, I will. I was told to find the smuggler's den. You're a stone's throw from the entrance. Go through, it will lead you to the smuggler's den. Careful though, there's rogues down there that'll attack you on sight. Then they will die. Wait! Tell Uma that I helped you, please. She promised me the dark gift if I did as she asked. You'll tell her, won't you? I'm certain Uma will give you all that you deserve. Greetings, Cain. You eluded the guards. They were only human. Welcome to one of the glories of our fair city, the Smuggler's Den. As squalid as you found the slums, you will find this place even more offensive. Rogues and thieves rule the streets, and of course the Seraphan too have their own dealings here. You may expect small help from the inhabitants, and more trouble. I do not require their hospitality. You spoke of a smuggler's tunnel I must find? Yes. It is hidden somewhere in this district. I know not where. I have sent word to a member of the Cabal to help you. You will find him at the tavern, deep within this district. How will I know this person? He will know you. Find the tavern quickly. We will speak again later.
I wouldn't do that.
What do we have here? Uh, ooh, ooh. moment of your time. You know me? I was uh, instructed to look for you, yes, yes, sir. I am a friend of the Cabal, sir. One of many in the city. I am here to assist you. Then do so by all means. The smuggler's tunnel you seek is hidden in a cavern underground. The thieves enter by way of the church outside, but there is no entrance there for any but themselves. You, sir, must go beyond the church and find a lift. This will take you underground. Where precisely is this lift? In a collapsed section of the district beyond the church. The church, remember, sir, is forbidden to all but the thieves. The guards there will attack you should they but lay eyes on you. I will be most careful. Help! Somebody help me, please! Guards, call the Seraphan! Die, fool! 
well. Our Lord was correct. You are alive. Do you remember me, Kay, who served you so well? It was Faustus, one of the legionnaires of my army of vampires. An indifferent soldier, <laughs> but now a traitor to our race. Faustus, it's true then. I hardly believed it. Vampires have turned against their own kind. What is our kind? In serving the Seraphim, I have protection, I have power. And who better to hunt down a vampire than a more powerful vampire? History is written by the winners, Kane. That is my kind. How many of us have been destroyed by the Seraphim? How many have been brought to their deaths by you? I care not for those destined to die. I don't weep for them, and I won't weep for you. Look around you, Faustus. Does your victory seem so assured now? A fleeting setback. Our Lord knows of your presence. He beat you before, and he will bury you now. But you will never know how it ends, Faustus. For I will bury you first of all.
me! What's this? Oh. 